Hello and welcome back. Uh, today's video is going to be a real short one. Um, I was asked to do an extrusion milling video and I'm going to do this today because I need a very small um, PCB and I will be using a, um, a raster picture taken from a PDF and let's see how that turns out. I did order some uh, Engraver bits. Um, this here is one of them. It's 0 0.1 millimeters, um, 20 degrees. Uh, it's hardened. It's hardened uh, metal. It should work out fine. Um, it came in a box of 10, and I think it cost about seven or eight euros. So it was pretty cheap. Um, I'm going to try these out. I'm going to set this up, and I'm going to set it to run and I won't be talking a lot because it's going to be really loud and I will probably be speeding up the video so enjoy Now, while this is running, I can just um, explain a few things. Um, I'm using my own software to um, render the PDFs. Um, it's not a perfect software, but it works uh, reasonably well. I did try a few other things um, to get pictures to work, but it didn't turn out right. And I wasn't really happy, so I will be relying on this um, for a start. I did realize that 3.175 millimeters is, of course, one eighth of an inch, and is probably therefore not um, <laughs> not that type of uh, size that won't be used very often, <laughs> but. Um, well, I kind of grew up with um, with millimeters and stuff, so I apologize for getting that one wrong. Um, all right, I'm gonna set this to zero, and when I'm done, um, we'll see how it turns out. So this is the finished result of the engraving. I did have to change 
a few things along the way and um, my camera wasn't being very helpful um, and ate half of the recording um, but this is the final result um, some of the intermediate results look like this uh, which is um, well it was okay but at about 60% my uh, notebook decided to go into hibernation uh, because the Gerbil software does not tell it to stay active and uh, I had some other tries which looked like this. Um, this included copper pour which didn't turn out quite as well and uh, some of the uh, cabling wasn't right so the, I modified the layout. But the end result, this here, looks very nice. In fact, I've already cleaned it up a bit and I'm really amazed how nice it is looking. I hope the camera is going to focus on this because this result is far better than what I was going for. There is some over... Um, there's some over extrusion, well over engraving on the edges because it's the engraver is not 0 0.1 millimeters but like 0 0.12 or 0 0.15 something in that vicinity so some of the edges are not as exact as I would have liked them to be but this is very usable and it did it actually actually worked like in about 35 minutes so it's okay if I take the, uh, if we take the lens um, and have a look at the result, so I have to focus here. Uh, you can see that this is a very good result. There's almost no residue in there. Uh, now that I've cleaned it off, um, very clean cuts, very straight lines. Um, that is really good. That is really, really good. And I like it. I'm just going to keep it that way and use it for now. I might do some work on the uh, software that, that did the engraving, but not a lot. Um, so yeah, that is the um, focus, please. And what's with the focus? Well, that is the example of the uh, PCB engraving. I'm happy. It looks nice. I'm going to use this. Um, and uh, let's see where it goes from here. Um, for the resume, this machine at 130 uh, euros plus handling, which was <laughs> about two-thirds of the price but no matter um, it's a real good machine I'm confident that I will keep using it and I'm confident that it will make a great addition to my workshop thank you very much for watching bye bye